What up, baby? One and me, Jaden. Welcome back to another Fox video. By my own term, by my own name. We got a dick to the NBA, bro. We said, we talked about the NFL, man. We gotta, I just gotta be real, man. I haven't been doing a lot of videos, man. Like, I only do videos probably like two, three times a month now. I don't be doing videos as much as I used to. It's just I haven't been at the side of that I normally have, but even I'm gonna quit. I might think about Twitter one day, but we often need to get back to doing what we normally do, and that'd be doing videos every other day, at least three times a week or whatever. But we want to do, but when it's playoff time, we have to be there. When the NBA playoffs come, we got to be there every day. And the NFL playoffs, we got to be there every day. We have to be in the playoffs. <laughs> Obviously, my, my favorite team, the same thing to make the playoffs. Obviously, that's tough. Tom freaking Brady had to ruin it, but it wasn't his fault. It was kind of our fault that we would have beat it, Tom Brady. The Dane that we all like, I'm not talking about the, the week two game. I'm talking about the week 14 game. We would have won that game. We, we would have been in the driver's seat to not only win the division in week 18, but also make the playoffs in week 18. We would have won that game. So it was a disappointing season. But hopefully next year can be, be the year. If it's not, then I don't know what, what the franchise is going to be like. Ever since Drew Brees left, we haven't made the playoffs since. We haven't won t t 10 games yet ever since he left. Like, when he was playing, we were winning 10 play games every other year. And now he left, we haven't won 10 games. We haven't won the division. Haven't been in the playoffs. We haven't had a quarterback for the future. Michael Tom has been injured. We don't know what we're going to do. Like, it's it's been... Terrible the last two years. So, hopefully, we can find somebody. <sighs> but, not to my LSU tied that didn't make the playoff th this year. They were the number five. They were number five. They were making a run. They were not, they were making a big time run. But then that taking the AM game had to ruin everything. If we would have won that game, we would have had a better chance to beat Georgia. We would have had more confidence. We would have been better. But since we lost to that team, we didn't have a lot of confidence in our quarterback was injured that game. So if he didn't, if our quarterback didn't get injured, and if we would have won that game, we would have been not. We would have been number four. It would have been like number four, number one. It would have been a battle for the baby, maybe for the number one seed. Because if LSU would have beat Georgia, they probably would have been number one over TCU, over Ohio State, over Michigan. They would have been number one. I bet. If not, they would have been number two. They would have been no lower or number two. They would have been number one or number two if they would have beat Georgia. If they were number four. Or still number five or whatever. But they would have jumped up to number one, number two, whatever it would have been. Or whatever. It didn't happen. It would have did. Hopefully, Nitra can be the gear. But I feel like, be that real. Yeah, look at what Jaden Daniel did this year, man. Like, you didn't see what he did in the, you didn't see what he did. Yeah, look what he did all year, man. He had great numbers. Like, he beat it, died, like, old Mitch with number seven. Obviously, they finished with a very bad record. But then they beat Alabama, who was number six. Before that, like, he, he played really good in the Southern game. He played really good in the Bowl game a, a, a couple weeks ago. So he played pretty well. Like, when he played against Alabama, when he went up against Alabama, that probably was his best performance of the year. The Alabama then with a big performance of probably his entire career. Uh, he was already great in that game. I can pull up that game again, but yeah, he was great. But yeah, yeah that, that's an NBA, man. Yeah, man. Um, Stephen Terry and the Warriors, they won the last night. Pretty, They won pretty big last night. <laughs> But obviously, they should have won last night, and they did. They had to, they had to take their visions because they were playing pretty awful. Losers of their last three. They were, they were winning a lot of games, but then they started losing again. But if the Warriors finally won the road game, they only had won like three road games. Uh, they, they won 17 at home, and they won three on the road, and they finally won them on the road after they won them on the road for pretty much a while. <laughs> but if you're the Warriors, you gotta be worried because y'all are 21 and 21. Y'all are the number eight or nine seed in the West right now. Y'all right now in that playing tournament. They only a half a season left. They already been 42 games. Y'all, y'all, y'all already have played 42 games. 42 games. And y'all are right now 
the number eight seed. I know there's still a lot of season left, but Curry been off for a while, and y'all right now have to battle. Like I don't know how the Warriors are gonna get into that top six, man. Like you got a little, you got a little look in front of them. You got Denver, you got Memphis. Even if they made it into the top six, you got a little look in front of them. You got Denver with Jokic. I could put a junior, Jamal Murray. They're number one for a reason right now. Twenty, they're like twenty nine, whatever their record is. But yeah, we're in front of them. That Denver right there. But then you got Memphis with Ja Morant, man. Come on, man. Then you got my favorite team, the Pelicans, with Zion, with Ingram, with CJ, Jonas, Herbert Jones. But you got all type of talent on that team. All type of talent. I would have been rocker in the entire NBA. Then you got. Um, who looked in front of them? You got Seth and Metal them somehow playing, been playing pretty well. They, they're playing their ball. So you got you got them right there with your Fox. So, but then you got look the Donkeys, man. My God, Mom, they do that, man. Then you got you got the Clippers. You got the Wild Hunter, Paul George, and them boys. You got John Wall. So you got to look with in front of them. You gotta look what in front of them. Even though they made it back into the top six. Look what's in in look what's in front of them, man. I don't care if they're the defending champ. I don't care if they are the defending champ. Look what in front of them. Look, look, look who they have to play if they make it to the playoff. And they probably will make it to the playoff, but look what's in front of them. You to look what's in front of them. It's gonna be tough. Get to the get to the Eastern Conference. Um about the Clippers and the Denver Nuggets. Them two players in each other last night. There were no Paul George and there were no Yota. Sorry about that, but they did back to the Clippers and the Denver Nuggets. Um, Clippers and the Denver Nuggets, man. Yeah. That game, it, it, the Clippers did lose last night. That was, that was tough. It is somehow, somehow the Clippers cannot beat Denver. It's weird. But, it is weird. But, that's all we got for you today. We had a lot of things today, but I don't know if I can talk about all from one video. It was so many games last night that all I'm going to talk about. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, did it, video thumbs up. We'll be back. Night, night.